There is no doubt that global warming is one of the biggest human problem at the moment. Each year, we are seeing more and more severe effects of climate change, from hurricanes to wildfires. And it's not just affecting people in certain parts of the world, it's affecting everyone, anywhere, even harms animals and plants. There are many things people can do to stop global warming. Some of these include things like conserving energy, using public transportation, and reducing the number of everyday products we're using. One of the most important things people can do, is to be aware of the issue. You can educate yourself on the science behind global warming, and learn about the ways you can help. You can also tell your friends and family about it, so they can help out too, and our planet can survive this problem much easier. There are many things people can do to stop global warming. The first and most important thing is to use less electricity. If we use less electricity, then there will be less need for coal-fired power plants, which are one of the biggest sources of greenhouse gas emissions today. For example, phone chargers use a lot of electricity, even when they are not charging your phone. Suppose, you have a bunch of chargers plugged into the wall. In that case, you're wasting electricity and money, and you allow global warming to continue expanding. But, not only chargers are wasting electricity, kitchen accessories are doing the same. Toaster, microwave, and other appliances in the kitchen use a lot of energy and often go unnoticed. In fact, toasters use almost as much energy as phone chargers on daily basis. Suppose, we want to cut down on our home's electricity usage, so we can save the energy. In that case, it's important to be aware of how much power these appliances use when you're not using them. Unplugging them when they are not in use is an excellent way to start saving the planet. This is just one example of how people are unaware of how their everyday actions impact the environment. If more people were conscientious of their consumption, then we could make a real difference in preserving our planet. Another thing we can do to prevent global warming is to drive less combustion engine cars. For an example, if every American drove, just one mile less per day, it would save the equivalent of taking more than 5 million cars off the road. But America has around 300 million citizens, imagine that the whole world of 7 billion people saves just one mile every day. That may seem like a daunting task, but when you consider that there are over 7 billion people on Earth, it's not quite as impossible as it seems. If you start doing that, tell your friends to do the same, and they tell their friends. And maybe, this idea will one day spread like a virus, and we can succeed in our mission. But, if we can't convince people to drive less just one mile per day, then we have to rely on replacing combustion engine cars with electrical ones. Electric vehicles are the future. There's simply no denying it. And while the idea of giving up our gas-guzzling cars in favor of something more environmentally friendly may seem daunting, it's a change that needs to happen, sooner rather than later. Cars are one of the main sources of pollution, over 30% of pollution is caused by cars. Cars emit various gases and particles that can harm human health and the environment. The World Health Organization estimates that outdoor air pollution from cars causes around 3 million premature deaths every year, and increasing every year. While we are still talking about transport, let's mention alternative methods that we can use to suppress global warming. Every one of us can do our part to help reduce greenhouse gas emissions by choosing to walk, ride a bike, or take public transportation instead of driving car. Together, we can make a real difference in the fight against climate change. Each mode of transportation has its own advantages. Walking is great for shorter distances and has many health benefits. Bike riding is a great way to get exercise while reducing your carbon footprint. Taking public transportation is a great way to save money and reduce your environmental impact. Choose the right mode of transportation for your needs to get the most benefits, but please don't harm the environment. So, let's move to another way of helping our planet to survive this ecological problem. Another thing to do to help the planet is start purchasing more products that are made of recycled materials. If every person did this, it would greatly impact the amount of pollution we produce every year. It is important to purchase recycled products, but it's also important to recycle the products we have used. By recycling, we can help reducing the amount of pollution caused by manufacturing brand new products. However, there are many benefits to using recycled materials in construction, house, or everyday activities. Not only does it help the planet by keeping materials out of landfills, but it can also be cheaper and stronger than using new materials. Studies have shown that recycled materials can be up to 80% cheaper than new materials. 
they can also be just as strong, or even stronger, than new materials. As you can see, using recycled materials helps to reduce the amount of energy needed to produce new materials, and it also reduces the amount of pollution produced in the manufacturing process for final product. While we're still speaking about recycled materials for everyday products, it's worth mentioning that buying clothing made of recycled materials or hemp is a good way to be more sustainable. Here are some reasons to buy recycled clothing from an environmental standpoint. It requires less energy to produce recycled clothes than it does to create brand new ones. In addition, recycled clothes use less water and fewer resources while creating less pollution. In addition to being environmentally friendly, recycled clothing is often more stylish and affordable than clothing made from pure materials. These days, there is a big number of companies that are specialized in recycled clothing, and many major retailers now carry lines of recycled clothing so they can help our planet. Waste disposal is a growing problem for human civilization. It destroys the environment and contributes to the pollution problem. Every day, each of us creates 4.3 pounds of garbage. Multiply that by the world's population, and you get 1.3 billion pounds of trash produced every day. That's a lot of waste. The average American generates 4.6 pounds of trash per day, while the average person in the developing world creates 0.5 pounds per day. Plastic pollutes our planet in ways that most people don't even realize. The average person probably doesn't think about where their waste goes after they throw it away, but the numbers are startling. The majority of this waste, 63% is buried in landfills, where it takes centuries to decompose. The rest is incinerated, which creates air pollution and toxic ash, and less than 1% of all plastic waste is recycled, which is not quite enough to keep balance between wasted and recycled. We need to start being more conscientious about using plastic and recycling what we can, as much we can. Otherwise, we will tank into even bigger problems. The cost of this problem is not just the loss of life in the ocean. It also has an economic cost. Cleaners have to be paid to clean up the mess, and this work is often dangerous for them. In addition, the toxic waste from the oil spill can damage ecosystems, making it difficult for plants and animals to survive. This in turn affects the fishing industry, as many fish populations have been decimated by the oil spill, and that number is still increasing every year. So be careful where you throw rubbish, because, as you can see, it can endanger the environment a lot. And the last thing we can do to stop global warming, is to plant trees. Trees are one of the most important things for environment. They provide shade, filter the air, and help to prevent soil erosion. Plus, they are pretty. Did you know that we need to plant 1 trillion trees in order to stop global warming? That's a lot of trees, but it's not impossible. With everyone's help, we can plant trees and help save our planet. When we do the math, each human has to plant approximately 142 trees, and we will stop the pollution. Additionally, planting trees help to reduce the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. It also helps to stabilize the climate, prevent erosion, and provides habitats for animals. Trees are a vital part of our ecosystem and are necessary to help fight climate change. Those are the habits that we're doing every day, and basically, the world's pollution depends on them. We can increase good habits or otherwise reduce habits that are bad for our environment. Please take care of your surroundings, do not pollute, and leave everything clean behind you. The planet Earth is our home, and if we can't keep it clean, it will become a bad place for life. Thanks for watching and please like this video, hit the subscribe button, and tell us your opinion in comments below.